Hey everyone, I'm Bill Vensel. This is Chords of Orion, and yeah, there is a secret to volume pedals that I don't hear too many people talking about. And this characteristic can really affect the way you interact with a volume pedal. It's the taper of the swell. That is, how quickly the volume swells in, or slowly the volume swells in, when you push down on the volume pedal. There are two types of taper when it comes to volume pedals, the linear taper and the audio taper. As you can see in the diagram, the linear taper is a constant increase in volume across the sweep of the volume pedal. The audio taper, on the other hand, increases volume slowly, more slowly, and then kind of rushes in at the end of the pedal travel. Now I've got two volume pedals on my pedal board to demonstrate the difference. They're both made by Morley. The one in black is the Little Alligator, and that pedal has a linear taper. The red pedal is the Stereo Chorus volume pedal, and that pedal has an audio taper. So let's check it out a little bit. I've just got a dry tone here, nothing crazy. And I'm gonna go ahead and swell in first with the little alligator, and then I'll swell in with the stereo volume chorus. This is the linear taper. Okay, let's try the audio taper. Now, you might be thinking, well, wait, I didn't hear a whole lot of difference. Well, let's take that a little bit slower. Let's go back to the audio taper, the little alligator. Now, watch my foot as I swell in. What you probably saw there was hardly anything and then something. And so what the linear taper does is it tends to swell in pretty quickly towards the, even though, even though you can't hear it for a little bit, once it comes in, it begins to swell in pretty quickly. Okay, now check out the audio taper. Just watch my foot carefully. You can begin to hear the volume come in earlier in the travel. However, when I move my foot a little bit quicker, it doesn't seem to swell in quite as quickly. Once the audio taper, or once the linear taper, sorry, begins to swell in, it does tend to come in more quickly. So this is actually a pretty big deal depending on how you're using a volume pedal. Let me demonstrate. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a delay plugin. That plugin is the Valhalla DSP delay. Here are the settings. Boom. Okay, first, I wanna go ahead and try playing with the linear taper. So that's the little alligator, the black pedal, with the delay. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's cool. Now I wanna go ahead and try the audio taper with the same plugin. Let's, uh, let's hear what that sounds like. It's very subtle, but if you listen carefully, you can hear a difference in the speed of the swell. Now, what you may have noticed just then is that I had to move my foot further on the red pedal, the audio taper, to get the same relative swell sound versus the black pedal. And so for me, I generally tend to prefer the linear taper when I'm playing fast swells. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Now let me play that same basic line with the 
audio taper, the red pedal, and let's hear the difference, or maybe you can watch the difference with my foot. So you might be thinking, Bill, you're right. This is why nobody's talking about the taper. I don't really care. And that's true. You may, it may not matter to you. Both of these pedals sound great. I really like them both. But they do have different, they do have a different feel to each one. It is subtle. And I think a lot of the decision point or whether or not you care about it depends on precisely how you're using a volume pedal. Are you using the volume pedal mostly for long, flowing, mellow swells? In that case, the audio taper might be a better choice for you. Do you tend to use volume pedals for faster perhaps more complex types of volume swells. Well, maybe that linear taper pedal might be a better option for you. Now, I haven't canvassed every volume pedal on the market, but I have a feeling that more of them tend towards the audio taper versus the linear taper. But if you've got the Line 6 Helix or HX Stomp series, or the Headrush kind of gear, the pedal board or the MX-5, or the Fractal Audio gear, one thing that's great about all of those units is that when you set up a patch that involves a volume pedal, they all have adjustable sweeps on the volume pedal. In fact, some of them actually say linear taper and audio taper. So if you do use uh, some of the different multi-effects pedals, you may very well just have that adjustment that you can make when you set up a patch. And I would encourage you, if you do have that option, to try them both out to see which one you prefer. Well, there you go. I hope this little secret tip was helpful. If you've got a preference for audio versus linear taper, go ahead and drop a comment below. Also, if you're looking to buy equipment from Sweetwater, I've got affiliate links in the video description. It really helps out the channel if you decide to use those links. I've got some videos here on how to play ambient guitar and I'll see all of you over on those videos.